Good morning, YouTube. It's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels. And I'm Katie. We're in Knoxville, Tennessee, and you can see there's traffic. Well, no, you can't. You're looking at us. Sorry. Uh, there's quite a bit of traffic uh, in Knoxville because it's a, Knoxville's a good-sized city. So we're on the fourth day of our big trip and we're heading into, up into Virginia um, and the campground last night was really nice uh, and uh, we enjoyed that campground a lot so we're just going to be this is going to be a pretty long day for travel um, it's one of our longer ones, I guess. I think it's about 360 miles is the goal. Yeah, so it's quite a quite a travel day. We're not we're not going any crazy distances. We're trying to keep our distances uh, around 350 miles or less. And this happened to work out where it's just slightly more than 350 miles. Uh, but yeah, so we're trying to control. We're not doing any 600 mile days or anything like that. We're finding that with the trailer, uh, it's much easier to uh, shorten the day a little bit, and then you're not. Um, it's easier to make the destination. Uh, you have to travel slower with the trailer anyway, and then you have stops and stuff, and it just works out better if you uh, if you uh, kind of take it easy. And we got a bit of a late start. Um, we were both very tired last night, and I uh, ended up sleeping in a little, and then I really wanted to put the casita back to rights. It's gotten a little untidy and so I spent a little while this morning tidying up and vacuuming and straightening things out so when we go to bed tonight it'll feel a lot better uh, going into a tidy space I always like things to kind of just be put back in order and besides these two dogs shed everywhere and I can't stand the dog hair <laughs> and so I wanted to get it tidied up a bit and we went for a nice walk. It was, it's, uh, the dam creates a really nice uh, small lake and um, it's really pretty to look out on and we saw chipmunks and climbed a little bit of hill and had a very nice uh, walk this morning. So, good way to start the day. Okay, well, we'll keep you informed of where we're at as we go. Okay guys, we are now in Virginia and we're getting on the road. We're trying to get to where we're going to camp for tonight. Originally, we were thinking about possibly staying at a Walmart and we may still uh, we're also looking at a couple of campgrounds that are a possibility also. Um, so this is just to give you, we were just at the Virginia border at their rest area uh, information center uh, place and we had lunch. We, uh, we eat our lunch in the casita very convenient way to do things. We have the lunch already made up. Um, Katie makes the lunches up in the morning and um, then we stop when we want to eat lunch and the dogs can go wee wee and then we uh, eat lunch in the uh, with the lunch we've already made up and it makes it pretty quick and easy. We do sit in the casita. Oh, so yeah. I'll see you soon.
Hey YouTube, it's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels. And I'm here, we've arrived at our destination. We are at a Walmart, Walmart parking lot in Stanton, Virginia. And on the way this direction, we contacted a campground and looked into a couple others um, because we thought we would prefer to uh, do a campground um, just so we'd have electricity and water and all that stuff um, and we could not find a campground that had any openings for tonight it just didn't um, there were none available at all uh, because of the holiday weekend coming up even though it's not close to the weekend yet all of the campgrounds in Virginia are booked solid uh, apparently people are taking off early uh, before the weekend and they're going camping so um, it means if you don't have reservations at a campground it's really hard to get a, 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 a look a, a, a spot in a campground. So we're boondocking in and what we found out is on these boondocking uh, situations uh, Casita comes, we bought our Casita with just the wet cell battery, the standard battery that comes with it and the way it works out is is you can use that overnight using LED lights, some of the LED lights, the fantastic fan, uh, and your water pump occasionally, and you can use a refrigerator on gas, and, um, and of course you can use your two burner cooktop, and uh, so you can cook meals, you can run a little water, do all that, and it'll last overnight. And then when you drive the next day, it will charge your battery up completely. So as long as you're moving, uh, you're staying in one place and then you're packing up and you're moving, it'll work out fine. And uh, your battery will recharge completely and you'll, and you'll be ready to go again. If you're trying to boondock for multiple nights, it appears, at least the way we use the battery, uh, we would not be able to keep going two nights in a row without recharging the battery in between. And when you're driving um, like we are from one location to another, it does charge the battery up uh, over the time that you're driving it. It recharges it. And um, it, it, it does. So, and, th and, and this particular Walmart we found through RV Parky and I found RV Parky to be really helpful in finding campgrounds as well as uh, boondocking places like Walmart uh, and others but um, so in this particular Walmart is actually very very popular there's a camper behind us there's a camper this way there's actually a semi truck over there um, there's actually another camper over there. There's actually another camper over there. So there's like five, five or six campers plus the semi truck here tonight. So, and I, I would imagine there'll probably be more people coming up. Uh, the temperature here is great. It, it was 80 degrees when we arrived. Uh, which was about, I don't know, about uh, 8 o'clock, I guess. Um, and now it's even cooler. So you, you don't need air conditioning. or I mean, if you just open a window or so, it's plenty cool. It's, uh, it's very pleasant. The temperature is really pleasant out here. It's wonderful. So we're going to enjoy that. We're going to enjoy the temperature change. Um, so 
that's where we're at. We're in Stanton, Virginia, and everything is going really, really well. Uh, we've made all of our uh, pre-selected stops. We, um, we're going to continue forward to get to Maine, and we'll keep you informed as we go. And I just wanted to let you know how the battery use works out and um, and uh, just let you know where we're at and what we're doing. And we'll see you in the next video.